the algae have been broadly classified into what chlorophyceae pheophyceae rhodophyceae based on the type of coloring pigment found in them so the members of pheophyceae are commonly referred to as brown algae found only in marine water hello dear students welcome back to session 2 of this interesting chapter called plant kingdom hope you remember in the last session we started off with the phylogenetic system of classification which classified the whole of the plant kingdom into five groups that is algae then bryophytes or uh, pteridophytes gymnosperms and angiosperms so we had started off with algae and we studied about the characteristic features of algae along with the economic importance of algae moving on to the remaining concepts of this algae we'll be studying in this session the classification of algae what is the basis for classifying algae into different classes like chlorophyceae pheophyceae and rhodophyceae so the three very important classes of algae which are classified based on the type of the coloring pigment that is found in this algae now let us study one by one so the algae as i said it is divided into a uh, chlorophyceae that is called green algae then pheophyceae is called brown algae then rhodophyceae is called red algae so why it is called green because of the coloring pigment that is found why it is called brown because of the coloring pigment brown color pigment that is found and red algae because of the red coloring pigment so the whole of the algae is divided into three classes namely class 1 called chlorophyceae class 2 called pheophyceae and class 3 called rhodophyceae the common name like chlorophyceae is called green algae pheophyceae is called brown algae and rhodophyceae is called red algae now let us start with the first class that is chlorophyceae chlorophyceae what is this chlorophyceae the members of chlorophyceae are commonly known as as i said green algae found both in fresh water and marine water so they are found both in fresh water and marine water so as i said these are commonly referred to as green algae and they are found both in fresh water as well as marine water and here the plant body may be unicellular or colonial or filamentous so here they might be like microscopic unicellular or found in colonies or may they may be also filamentous and they are green in color why they are green in color the very word itself will tell you because of the dominant pigments called chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b right present in the chloroplast chloroplast is a green coloring pigment chloroplast plastid and they are green in color because of the presence of two very important types of chlorophyll that is chlorophyll a and b in the chloroplast hence the name green algae the chloroplast may vary in their structure such as there is this the chloroplast which has the two types of chlorophyll a and b may vary in structure it might be discoid or it might be plate like or reticulate in the form of network or cup shaped spiral or ribbon for example in spirogyra the chloroplasts are ribbon shaped uh, in different species so moving on to the classification of algae algae as i said the study of algae is called what phycology so the algae have been broadly classified into what chlorophyceae pheophyceae rhodophyceae based on the type of coloring pigment found in them so moving on to the first as i said chlorophyceae is called green algae then pheophyceae is called brown algae and rhodophyceae is called red algae chlorophyceae as i said the the members of chlorophyceae are commonly referred to as green algae found both in fresh water and marine water so the plant body may be unicellular colonial or filamentous and why they are green in color because of the dominant pigment green coloring pigment called chlorophyll a and b present in the chloroplast and the chloroplast structure may vary it might be discoid or it might be plate like or it might be uh, it might be reticulate in the form of network or it might be cup shaped or spiral or ribbon shaped like in spirogyra 
the moving on to the remaining cons so you can here, see here this is the chlamydomonas it is a picture of a motile here you can see they are motile motile chlamydomonas so most of the members have one or more storage bodies called pyrenoids so what are the storage structure found in the chloroplast they are referred to as what pyrenoids and these pyrenoids contain what starch and protein so this is a question which is usually asked in the exam what are pyrenoids so what are pyrenoids pyrenoids contain what starch and protein so most of the members have what one or more storage bodies called pyrenoids present in the chloroplast and pyrenoids contain starch and protein and green algae usually have a rigid cell wall made up of cellulose so what is the cell wall as in a plant cell is characterized by the presence of a rigid cell wall here it is also made up of a cell wall called what uh, cellulose and vegetative reproduction takes place by fragmentation what do you mean by as i said they might be in the form of uh, filaments they might be in the form of colonies right right so here they might be unicellular so when they are filamentous you know the whole of the filament breaks into pieces called fragments and each fragment has the capacity to develop into a new plant so that mode of vegetative reproduction is called as what it is a type of asexual reproduction called fragmentation so by the process of forming and by fragmentation or by the process of different spores like for example i said no the motile zoo spores then conidia that is uh, zoospores motile zoospores asexual reproduction takes place by the formation of flagellated zoospores produced by zoosporangium so chlamydomonas produce what zoospores uh, in a structure called what zoosporangium so they are also asexual reproductive structures sexual reproduction is by isogamous what do you mean by isogamous when the gametes are similar for example already i told you in the previous session both the gametes male and the female gametes are of similar structure so they morphologically they are similar you cannot differentiate them into male and female gametes so fusion of such similar gametes is called isogamy and fusion of dissimilar gametes what do you mean by dissimilar gametes you can easily differentiate the male gamete from the female gamete morphologically they are dissimilar here they are similar so fusion of the gamete or sexual reproduction may be through isogamous or maybe through uh, anisogamous or even oogamous example like we have this chlamydomonas like we have this chlamydomonas volvox eulothrix chara etc as i keep telling examples are very very important so what are the examples you are going to give for chlorophyce of algae chlamydomonas volvox eulothrix chara right so as i said most of the members have one or more storage bodies called pyrenoids present in the chloroplast pyrenoids contain starch and protein um, then green algae usually have a rigid cell wall made up of cellulose then vegetative reproduction is either by fragmentation or through the process of formation of motile spores called zoospores then sexual reproduction is either by isogamy anisogamy and oogamous examples are chlamydomonas volvox eulothrix chara etc moving on to pheophyce so by seeing this picture itself you can see that it is nothing but brown algae by seeing the brown color itself you can understand that pheophyceae consists of members consisting of brown algae so the members of pheophyceae are commonly referred to as brown algae found only in marine water chlorophyceae was found both in fresh water as well as marine water but the characteristic feature of pheophyceae is their totally marine forms so the members of pheophyceae are commonly known as what brown algae found in marine water and they exist as what simple branched filamentous like in case of ectocarpus or profusely branched like in case of kelps which may reach to a height of 100 meters see kelps also form a very beautiful uh, structure in the aquatic medium so they exist as either simple branched filamentous in case of ectocarpus or profusely branched like in case of kelps which reach to a height of 100 meters and why are they referred to as 
brown algae they possess pigments like chlorophyll a and c along with that the brown that is xanthophylls carotenoids and fucoxanthin so fucoxanthin is the one which gives it the brown coloration hence the name brown algae in chlorophyll what were the dominant pigments it was chlorophyll a and b here the dominant pigments are that is both chlorophyll a c xanthophylls carotenoids and fucoxanthin so there pyrenoids were the reserve food material here stored food material is carbohydrate in the form of laminate laminate area it is called laminaria or it is called mannitol laminaria laminate or it is called mannitol so what are the features of pheophycia brown algae the members of pheophycia are commonly referred to as brown algae found only in marine water and they exist as what either simple branch filamentous in case of ectopar ectocarpus or profusely branched like in case of kelps where they reach a height of 100 meters and they possess the pigments called what chlorophyll a c then xanthophyll yellow that is the it is almost like brownish yellow then carotenoids and fucoxanthin the stored food is in the form of carbohydrate either it might be laminarian or it is many tall moving on to the third important class so uh, the whole of the algae is divided into three classes chlorophyceae pheophyceae and rhodophyceae chlorophyceae is commonly referred to as green algae pheophyceae is commonly referred to as what brown algae and rhodophyceae is commonly referred to as red algae that is what you are going to see in the coming slide then moving on to the remaining characteristic features of pheophyceae the vegetative cells have a a uh, cellulosic cell wall covered by outer gelatinous coating called algin so the vegetative cells have a cellulosic cell wall covered by outer gelatinous coating called algin and the plant body is usually attached to the substratum what do you mean by substratum here the word called substratum the through uh, the body through which it attaches is called as a substratum by a hole fast and the stark structure is called stipe and the photosynthetic leaf like structure is called frond see it attaches to some uh, object in the water body and that is called substratum so it may be like you know uh, the stark like structure called stipe or it might be the photosynthetic leaf like structure called frond here you can see the beautiful picture of fucus right next vegetative reproduction is by fragmentation so what is fragmentation the whole of the plant body is in the form of filamentous and when each filament uh, divides into pieces called fragments and each fragment or each piece is capable of producing into a, a new plant so asexual reproduction is by biflagellate juice spores two flagella and sexual reproduction is by isogamous or oogamous example ectocarpus dictyota laminaria sargassum and fucus so moving on to the remaining characters as i said the vegetative cells have a cellulosic cell wall covered by outer gelatinous coating called algin the plant body is usually attached to the substratum by a hole fast the stark structure is called as what stipe and the photosynthetic leaf like structure is called frond vegetative reproduction is usually by fragmentation asexual reproduction by fly by flagellate zoospores and sexual reproduction either through isogamous or oogamous so what are the examples you are going to give here ectocarpus dictyota laminaria sargassum fucus etc now let us study about the third important class of algae called rhodophyceae moving on to the rhodophyceae by seeing this picture itself you can see that it is commonly referred to as red algae chlorophyceae green algae pheophyceae brown algae then rhodophyceae red algae so as i said the members of rhodophyceae are commonly known as red algae found in marine habitat so these are also marine forms except for chlorophyceae which are both freshwater forms and marine forms but pheophyceae and rhod the members of pheophyceae as well as rhodophyceae are totally marine forms so the predominant pigment in these members is r phycoerythrin erythrin means what red color pigment that gives red color along with chlorophyll a and d so they have 
along with chlorophyll a and d what is the other pigment which gives it the red coloration it is r phycoerythrin in case of pheophysia fucoxanthin carotene xanthophyll along with chlorophyll a and c here along with chlorophyll a and c the main pigment is chlorophyll a and the remaining b c d are called as accessory uh, pigments right the here the plant body is multicellular and having floridian starch as stored material there it was mannitol in pheophysia here it is floridian starch and vegetative reproduction as usual by fragmentation and asexual reproduction here it is by non motile spores there it was by flagellated spores here it is non motile not having the locomotory organelles sexual reproduction is by non motile gametes so here also it is through non motile gametes example gracilaria gelidium polysiphonia then porphyra so this is all about rhodophysia so let us understand once again the characters so rhodophysia are members commonly referred to as red algae found in marine habit habitats the predominant pigment is what phycoerythrin the plant body is what multicellular having what floridian starches reserve food material vegetative reproduction is by fragmentation and asexual reproduction is by non motile spores sexual reproduction is by non motile gametes so what are the examples you are going to give gracilaria gelidium polysiphonia and porphyra hope you have understood all the three very important classes of the group very important group of the plant kingdom called algae that is about chlorophyceae pheophyceae and rhodophyceae i'll be back in the coming session with one more group of plant called bryophytes till then stay tuned and thank you